The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the hit show, Sheer Alchemy, with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Get ready to stir up your passions, identify your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Just say yes to explosive abundance. Leslie Fontaine is a transformation catalyst and clairvoyant who uses her intuitive and energetic gifts to catapult listeners into living the life they were born to live. Whether it's shifting from scarcity to abundance, from emotional pain into joy, or from illness into health, Leslie will help you step into the true essence and power of all that you are with the help of the Ascended Masters and Archangels. You will not be the same. Now, here's your host, Leslie Fontaine. This is Leslie Fontaine. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the show today. This may be a show that you want to listen to the podcast over and over again. We are really going to get into the nitty gritty today. Today's topic, attracting a relationship, the how, the why, and the what now. Oh my God, what now? You know, a lot of us desire a relationship. And we're going to go into all the layers of what I just said. We desire a relationship. Typically, when we say that, we're talking about an intimate relationship, a partner, a marriage, a boyfriend, a lover, a girlfriend, whatever it is. Many of us want it. And especially if we don't have one or don't have one right now that's nurturing, we feel this neediness. We feel this, oh my gosh, I really, really, really want this. And we want to identify where that's coming from today. Because if you're on this spiritual path, this is one of the journeys that is going to take you deeper into your walk. So we want to understand where we're attracting from. We want to find out what is part of our life lesson and what's our heart's desire, right? So some things we we attract to ourselves, and you know you've done this through work or friendships or circumstances, bosses, energetic encounters at the coffee shop. It doesn't matter where. And you find out, oh, my God, how did I bring this in? How did I attract this? So where is the desire coming from? What were we truly desiring. So when we attract, so often this situation is a mirror. It's a situation that is showing something up within us and we have to look at it if we're on the path to growing, right? We have to look at why are we attracting this? Why are we drawing this thing in? Now I am saying this as if we brought in something a little rough, right? Something a little uncomfortable, Maybe it's not fully honoring of us. Maybe it's hitting every one of our buttons and we're going, by God, I don't want this. I'm done with this. I'm not doing this anymore. Unfortunately, that is not the magic sauce because what happens is we go out, we leave that one and we go do the exact same thing. This is where I call it same energy, different outfit. We have lessons coming up because our spirit, our soul is so ready to heal. We're wanting to shift. We're wanting to do better. So when we bring in the same thing again and again and again, it's because we've not been wanting to shift or listen or change. We've been insisting that we aren't victims. We've been insisting that we're not petulant. We've been insisting that we're not stubborn. We've been insisting that we're not attracting our parents, all this stuff, right? So get it enough times, bang our head to the wall, and we finally hear it. We finally get it, and we go, oh, my God, am I ready to listen? Am I ready to shift? So I just want to tell you, if you are struggling in an existing relationship, you've left one, you're drawing in a new one. You're in the honeymoon stage of a new relationship where everything is wonderful, right? Because that's the way it is in that first three to six months. It's just beautiful. The thing is that after a period where I say same energy, different outfit, that thing shows up again within about six months and you are in shock. And the initial reaction we all have, because this is how we are in the human condition, is to look outward and look at that other person and go, I can't believe you're treating me like this. I can't believe you're talking to me like this. I can't believe I'm in a relationship with someone like you. 
and we don't look inward. We shift within and we shift, therefore, what is without. Until we do it that way, my friends, you know this is true, it doesn't change. Whether you have a difficult boss or you have friends that aren't nurturing or you have a partner or a love relationship that isn't feeding you, you look within first. I cannot wait to get into this topic in depth, but I have got to share with you something that I absolutely love out of Shakti Gawain's Living in the Light. Many of you know this book. And here's what she says. I have found that when I'm willing to trust and follow my energy, it leads me into relationships with the people from whom I have the most to learn. The stronger the attraction, the stronger the mirror. So the energy will always lead me to the most intense learning situation. It can be frightening at first to try to live this way. We have always been terrified to trust our own feelings, especially in the realm of relationships and sexuality. Because this energy is so intense, so changeable and unpredictable, we fear that utter chaos will reign. We don't trust that the universe knows what it's doing or else we don't trust ourselves to be able to accurately follow our inner guidance. It's incredible, isn't it? That's one of the most beautiful passages that I love. And whenever I need to come back to center in so many areas of my life, I read that and I am reminded that I'm a mirror. And this one showing up before me, so loved by source, so 100% loved by the universe, is showing up in my life. He's not showing up in my life to be uh, codependent with, not showing up to be enabled, not showing up, you know, to wait on hand and foot or uh, to do whatever that person wants. No, this person is showing up as a lesson for me, as an opportunity for me. And I have chosen this lesson because of my soul path. Isn't that awesome? I've chosen this lesson because of my soul path and what I have come to learn in this lifetime, what I am choosing to shift, what I am choosing to transform, evolve through, move through, ascend through, shift through. Oh my gosh, what a gift. It no longer then is about this one in front of me. It is now about me within. I hope this is resonating with you. I hope this is clicking with you. I hope there are things that are just going off like uh, light bulbs throughout your energy field because I'm going to talk about it. Some of us have been so hurt, so devastated, abused, violated. I am not minimizing and denigrating any of that to say it's God's will. Okay, please, please understand. I am not doing that. What I am talking about is upgrading our agreements, upgrading our contracts. But to do that, my friends, we have to heal. We have to shift. We have to choose to be real. I can tell you many, many, many times when I go really deep into my energy field, I go so deep into some areas of pain, I do not want to go But I go there knowing that I'm bringing in source, the light beings, the archangels, the masters, the healing teams, all those with me into that place. I never go into those neighborhoods alone, my friends. Never, never, never. I go in with my team and with this incredible compassion and love and uh, amazing power and, and just joy, honestly. Help me to shift through, to get to the corners in my emotional field, my physical field, my etheric field, my mental field, my spiritual field, my ancestral line, my past lifetime commitments. Some of you have vows you made in other lifetimes that are are so entrenched. And I know we'll talk a little bit later about vows. But that's where we go digging deep. To shift it out because every time you heal, every time you shift something, your energy vibration goes up, 
you become a light to the world in one more area. There are so many times prior to working a session with a client where maybe the week before I work probably on all these issues, not knowing what this client potentially is going to want to work on the next week. And inevitably, I have done all this pre-work in order for this next piece to be shifted for the client. It's amazing. So our sort, our energy knows, our spirit knows, knows what's important. When you shift, I know you've had the experience where very quickly afterwards, you become a light to someone else. If you're listening to this show, you are a light. You are someone carrying the light. You're, you're making a choice today about some things in your life. Okay? So choose it. Choose boldly. Don't choose as a victim. Don't choose fearfully. Don't go, oh, my God, okay, I'll go there. All right. I'm so scared to go look in there. You know what? We're not going alone. We're not going alone into those places. We hold space for one another. We bring in the masters, the archangels, the healing teams for one another. That's what we do. So we are going to be talking about relationships, my friends. And if you would like to call in today, the number is 800-930-2819, 800-930-2819. So much to talk about, about attracting a relationship, the how, the why, and the what now. This is Leslie Fontaine. When I became of age, my mother called me to her side. She said, son, you're growing up now. Pretty soon you'll take a bride. And then she said, just because you become a young man now, there's still some things that you don't understand now. Before you ask some girl for a hand now, keep your freedom for as long as you can. Almost everyone at some time in their lives ask themselves, what am I? Most of our questions are ego-generated and simply don't address the problem of our false self. It's time to relax your ego and embody your soul. Dr. Dan Cohen, neurologist, inventor, and author, has created tools to awaken a new way to transform from who you thought you were into what you truly are. Visit toolstoawaken.com today. Get ready to experience Truth Talk Radio with host Deb Acker. Tune in to Truth Talk Radio each Wednesday at 3 p.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com to illuminate the truth in your daily life as you experience life, love, and abundance from a whole new perspective. This hit show will leave you feeling lighter and bring you into a place of infinite possibilities every day in every way. Visit TruthTalkRadioShow.com for upcoming transformative topics and guests. Awaken to your radiant, authentic self. For over 15 years, Soul Purpose Advocate Nancy Monson has been focused on leading change in the lives of those looking to live their true purpose. She is devoted to supporting people and living a soul-directed life every day. Let Nancy help you overcome fear, worry, and doubt. Visit EverydaySpirituality.com to learn how Nancy can be your Soul Purpose Advocate. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877 877- Angel02 and visit artiehoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. Wow, hey everyone, welcome. Uh, welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. This is Talk Radio to Thrive By. I'm telling you, I gotta pinch myself some days because when each of us gets called to do something that we so not thought was in our real house to do. 
for a purpose that's so much greater than us, we get to show up and shine. If you would like to show up and shine on The Dr. Pat Show as a co-host or sponsor, send us an email to inspire at thedrpatshow.com. You better shop around. Oh, yeah. I love that song. This is Leslie Fontaine. We are talking about the topic, attracting a relationship, the how, the why, and the what now. And if you'd like to get in on this conversation and you are being super bold and want to shift, the number is 800-930-2819. And if you'd like to write me and work on this topic, uh, this is something that uh, you're ready to shift and clear. And by the way, we're not doing any shaming. We're not doing any beating up. This is something you're ready to shift. Um, and we're going to talk a little bit about, you know, the panic that sets in when we do a shift with regard to relationships, because people do get afraid that their relationship will be over if we do a shift and all this kind of stuff. So you can reach out to me at Leslie, L-E-S-L-I-E, at LeslieFontaine.com. That's L-E-S-L-I-E-F-O-N-T-E-Y-N-E.com. Or just Google me, Leslie Fontaine, or Sheer Alchemy, and you will find me. And I'm doing sessions. I've got CDs and audio MP3s, classes. We can work on getting you to shift to where you are showing up as your best self. And that is what this is about, right? When you know, we learned something very young. I've talked before about our inner child. <clears throat> and we learned that if we are authentic, we will be punished. If we speak our truth, we will be unappreciated, shamed, criticized, uh, not loved very much. We, If we show up um, being spontaneous and excited, I, I've worked with many clients where we'll do work on the inner child and the child is very subdued, very quiet, very reticent, holding back. And we shift and this inner child just bursts out like a cannonball. I mean, just starts dancing and being spontaneous and excited. Okay. If you can't be that one in your relationship, this is time for you to work on it. This is a time that's coming up now for you to take a look. Some of you have been so sad for so long, unhappy for so long, criticizing the other person for so long. If any of this is clicking with you, this is the time for you to take a look at it. So let's talk a little bit about relationships, not only from um, maybe a reality perspective of 3D, but from a spiritual aspect, an energetic aspect, okay? Let's all agree that relationships are complicated. You are showing up, let's say, with a world map that is you. Your partner or potential partner is showing up with a world map that is him or her. Okay? And you're bringing these two maps of the world, whichever worlds they are, together. These worlds are like exploring an archaeological dig. You think that how you love and how you grew up should be how the other person did. You think that your wounds should be understood, but the other person has no clue about your wounds. He's got his own. You think that your view of money, your view of going out, your view of a good time, your view of exercise, your view of how to take a vacation together, all these things should be the same, but they're not. So an initial reaction we can have on the surface level or the emotional level, is to dig in our heels and go, wow, this isn't working for me. Okay, so now we get a little deeper, right? You've drawn this person in. I am going to take a guess that it is not the first time this has happened to you. There are many, many layers to you. You are complex. You have an emotional part to you, belief systems, etheric level where darts and attacks have come into your field, some wounds that exist. You have your ancestral line. You have physical places where you hold things. Some of you just really can feel it in the gut if someone says something or triggers one of your buttons. So you're very complicated. You have agreements and contracts that go far beyond this lifetime. Okay, do you understand that? This isn't your first time at this life rodeo. You've been around maybe 200, 250 times. So 
you've cleared a ton of stuff in each iteration of your existence. And here you are now, <clears throat> and you're shifting now. You are now choosing in this moment with this person, with this situation, to shift this current agreement, to shift this current pain, to heal this part of you. That's what's happening. So when you see this person now that's pissing you off, making you angry, not appreciating you the way you want to be appreciated, you have to go, wow, what in me brought this on? What in me is allowing this to show up? What within me is not allowing this energetic connection to come in we tend to take a victim stance and then we wait to get angry and then we act out of anger now we know that love is the way we are supposed to react but often we need our anger to give us courage to take action so this is an area of healing isn't it i'm telling you we've all had this experience now let's go back to a com something i said earlier abuse is never okay Physical violation is never okay. Attacks are never okay from you or from the other. <clears throat> and so we want to make sure that we're not doing that and we're not allowing it. So when we see the physical abuse happening, let's look at ourselves and go, wow, why am I allowing it? Am I done? Am I finished with this? So we want to go in. We want to release this contract. We want to end it. And then because we end it and we shift it and we bring it into completion, we can step away. We can get help. We can get um, someone to come to us. But often that abuse, while it looks very simple on the surface, is tied to some additional complexities. If it's the only way we've learned love, if it's the only way we've received attention, if we're so terrified that we will be alone, that no one will take care of us, that we can't earn a living without this person, we tolerate all of the verbal abuse just in order to survive with food, clothing, and shelter, then that becomes another layer that we want to shift and clear, right? So the terror I find often with some of my clients is that they're so afraid that truly, truly, they won't be able to take care of themselves. This is ultimately a deep reality. And you know where it's rooted? It's rooted in our inner child. Because as a child, we couldn't drive a car, go to the grocery store. We didn't have money. We had no power. We weren't big enough to fight the grown-ups. So sometimes our inner child is holding us back in a situation because these triggers that we're experiencing now at 30, 40, 50, and 60 years old are identical to that. And so we're terrified. Don't we want to heal her? Don't we want her to see how we can step into more, step into better? If you're hearing this, and this is a part of your walk, this is a part of your life, then you definitely, definitely want to be Uh, taking a look at this all right so don't be afraid of what is showing up don't be afraid of what is your truth so a contract when you go into it is I agree to let you treat me this way in order to receive security whatever my definition of security is I allow you to um, be condescending toward me so that you will supply me with money and a nice house and a nice car and I will be cared for. These are some of the contracts. You have a contract at work. I will allow you to talk to me this way as long as I don't lose my job and I have my money. And the fear we have is that if we go outside of that guideline, outside of that rule, we think that nobody will take care of us. Okay, if you have that reaction, that is a contract. And that is a core wound. And that is often, too, a past lifetime agreement or an ancestral agreement. So we want to take a look at the fear you have that if you stand in your truth, you speak your truth, and I didn't say get petulant, get angry, stomp your feet, walk out, do some, you know, thing that you finally have the courage to do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I'm talking about you're standing in love, you're standing in your power, and very calmly you choose, you know what, I choose differently now. I release this agreement, I release the core fear 
that I cannot take care of myself, that's, that source will not support me. And there is another aspect to this, which is that we have put into source all of the experiences of our parents. So if our parents were dictatorial, didn't love us, it was conditional. If you do this for me, then I'll give you an allowance. If you do that for me, if you say jump, I'll say how high. I'll get praised this way or that way. I'll feel needed. I'll feel important if we do these things. If that is the pattern and we are shifting it, the terror you have is this source is just as unloving, unsupportive, and unallowing. So the universe is operating with this attraction energy, all right? So I want to draw in love. I want to draw in abundance. I want to draw in a nurturing, loving companion that, you know, is going to be someone that I want to build um, a path with, a vision with, a, a journey, a desire. You know, I've often found when I am about to do a healing on myself, I have a lot of fear, So if you feel this fear coming up right now, like, oh, my God, I'm scared to go there. I'm scared to step into this. I'm so afraid of what's going to show up. I'm so afraid that I will be left alone and abandoned. That is an agreement. That is a past lifetime uh, situation. That is something that you can choose to shift. But if you're feeling the fear, that's normal because what we learn from our physical loved ones is abandonment and betrayal. I'm just going to tell you what you're going to learn today is that source does not abandon and betray. Your energy is going to draw to you the love that you give out. So remember, you've got the physical, the etheric, the emotional, the mental, the spiritual. You've got all these layers. So when we clear a belief of betrayal, we've then got to go into the emotional and release those wounds. Does that make sense? So when we come back, we are going to talk some more about the depth of this stuff and why are there so many darn layers to such a complex situation. The number is 800-930-2819. This is Leslie Fontaine, and you're listening to Sheer Alchemy. Are you and your family looking for one manageable lifestyle change that will positively impact your health? Look no further. That change begins inside your drinking glass. Learn how to put a lid on junk drinking by sipping from a recipe collection of colorful, fresh, tasty, wholesome fruit and vegetable blends. Get your copy now of Sip the Garden. Fun, easy drinks for a healthier family by T. Carrie Mitchell. Visit lifestyle120.com for information on how to order. Transformation Talk Radio is dedicated to the education and awareness of Lyme disease. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Lyme Talk Radio. I'm Dr. Pat, joined here by Dr. Nusheen Darvish. Dr. Pat Basili and Dr. Nusheen Darvish will be bringing the most innovative, groundbreaking information, research, treatment innovations, and stories from those it affects every day. I'm so excited to be talking about this. We have so much to share. Dr. Darvish and I are planning to do is connect the dots. People suffering with all sorts of chronic diseases, it's time. It is time for them to transform. Tune into Lyme Talk Radio and help keep our mission strong. For the loyal listeners out there that have been listening to this incredible show on Lyme disease, we are not going to let you down. We're going to come through stronger and enrich the platform for Lyme disease awareness through Lyme Talk Radio. The message will continue. The conversations will become stronger and the healing epic. Hey, everyone. This is Dr. Pat. I am so thrilled. I've had the honor of working with Leslie Fontaine for the past year or so. And what she has created in her hit program, Sheer Alchemy, transcends what most of us get to listen to or hear in any point in time in our lives. But beyond that, Leslie is working with people all over the world. And she has created something phenomenal based on the feedback and input from the archangels, from the ascended masters, from the light beings, and most importantly, from each and every one of you. So if you want to change your life, if you're ready to step into your own version of sheer alchemy, 
please give Leslie a call at 678-665-3366. And why? Because this is what you're going to be prepared to do. Be amazed and on your part, connect with the Ascended Masters that are there to help you custom make the life that you are meant to live. Get ready to rid yourself of all that is weighing you down and holding you back from living the life you want for yourself. Coming Clean, The Art of Transparency with Katherine Moss is a hit show for women in recovery who are ready to live life on purpose. Tune in and let Katherine help you live your truth one day at a time. Live each Tuesday, 9 a.m. Pacific on TransformationTalkRadio.com. The Angel Lady. 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 The Angel One eight hundred three two three one seven nine zero. One eight hundred three two three one seven nine zero. Sue Storm. The Angel Lady. The And there's that anger I was talking about where probably we don't want to react from. This is Leslie Fontaine with Sheer Alchemy. We are talking about the t- relationships. We are talking about what we have drawn and attracted into our lives, what the lessons are that we have drawn to ourselves that we are choosing to move through. We don't draw lessons to become martyrs. We don't draw lessons to suffer. Okay. We draw lessons because that's what our soul is presenting to shift through. Think about your soul as multiple lifetimes. Don't think about it just this lifetime. You were born in this year. You're going to die in that year. We are talking about your soul path. Each lifetime, we are shifting and shifting and shifting, clearing and clearing and clearing. There is such an awakening going on around the planet right now and So much of the media, of course, is focusing on such horrible tragedies that we are seeing. You know, you look at Syria, you look at the the killings that are going on, the the things that are being done in the most reprehensible fashion against women and against the LGBT community. So many things going on that are so horrible, all right? But I want you to just shift a second and realize what an amazing awakening and transformation is going on at the same time on this planet, all right? So, no, we don't have quite the same news media power to share this with everyone. But when we are shifting, this is what we're doing. We are transforming. We are creating our eddies of our own miracles, all right? Just like throwing a pebble into a pond and all of those ripples going out. That is you. Every time you shift, every time you choose to transform, to heal, to upgrade your agreements and contracts. And some of you are so tied in your throat space because you're terrified of what will happen when you speak your truth. If you've come into a relationship and you have never spoken your truth and this part of you is just burgeoning, you're terrified, right? What's going to happen when I speak my truth? Or you feel this power in your power center. If you've never stood in your power and your interpretation of standing in your power is that you're going to get a whack on the butt or someone's going to slap you across the head because that's your inner child. So here you are as an adult and and you're feeling to step into something. And then the very next thought is, oh, I can't do that. If I do that, I'll lose this person. I'll lose this job. I uh You know, it won't look very loving. I need to appease, 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 appease. I need to just stay quiet and and not speak my truth. So here you are again in this next lesson. You can change relationships if you like. As I mentioned, different outfit. But you are bringing yourself again into this situation. So if someone is dismissing you, demeaning you, cheating on you, uh, you're feeling victimized, you're feeling the martyr, isn't it your day? Just listen right now within your field. So I want to go into your fields right now, and I want you to just really allow yourself to connect with these aspects, okay? I want you to feel your throat space. I want you to feel your heart going into your solar plexus. 
bringing in some beautiful light beings right now to fully support this. We're fully protecting our space. We're just allowing this amazing presence of support around you. And let's bring in your inner child. Let's take a look at him or her. How's that child doing? How's that child looking? Let's bring in Divine Mother and Divine Father and give that inner child an unconditional love bath. And now going up into your crown and noticing some of the beliefs, some of the things that that you have about your value, your truth, about love. And see if you're willing to release any of those beliefs, those that are in your mental field, about who you are, about how beautifully grand you are. And now visualize your partner. Allow that one to show up. Just notice where you're feeling tight and the sadness. Some of you are really struggling in your security center, your second. And your throat space is there. You feel completely choked. So I'm just bringing in some beautiful crystalline light. Bringing Archangel Michael's full cloak of protection around you. Bringing in St. Germain with a beautiful violet flame. Releasing negativity. And I'm allowing both of you, your partner and you, to elevate that agreement to a much higher level. And see yourself speaking your truth right now, not in reaction, just your desires, just who you are, what you're about, why you're here, what you're doing on the planet, even if you're not sure, saying that. And we're connecting with the soul of the other person. Now, for some of you, this other person is not receptive, seeming to walk away. For some of you, they're a little afraid too. That's reflecting the mirror within you. Afraid of what it'll mean for them. Remember, you're their security center too. And then for some of you, there's a connection. You're connecting with your hands now, coming together. And there's some grief and there's some sadness over lost time. Lack of understanding. Missed opportunities. Maybe there's a new language coming to your mouth, new words to use. Maybe how to create space for each other, taking responsibility for that, not waiting passively in reaction. And now see yourselves walking on this path, this journey, not just toward your vision, your desire, but allowing the beautiful vision of the universe to unfold. Walking on it. Almost kind of a yellow brick road vision toward a big castle way off in the distance. And notice the part of you that holds back. The part of you that's a little afraid. And honor that right now and go, wow, what's that part of me too in the throat space that's afraid to speak, afraid to talk, afraid to say, I need, I'd like to have, I want, I desire. Let's go this way. Let's go that way. I can change my mind. I can desire something else, choose something else. I can trust. I can yield. I can trust my feelings. I can trust my truth. And I can stand in all that I am. And just notice what that exercise was like for you. I'm just going to bring in Archangel Metatron with a beautiful light shower through your field. Beautiful. And just release what you were able to let go of. And we can work some more on that. We can work deeply, specifically, on what's going on with you, what's showing up for you today, what your inner messages are, and what you're ready to remove. These are layers. These are layers and layers. This is real stuff. Your emotions have been holding on to grief and sadness and fear because of the beliefs of how you think others will react to you especially if you truly are who you are. It's not like we're without fault ourselves, right? We want to clear out the parts of us that speak unkindly, that get angry, that get hurt. But that's part of the road too. That's part of this journey that we're on. So take a look. Parts of you are showing up that you felt were never fully loved. Parts of you are looking and going, wow, I always wanted to be a musician and I didn't step into it. And I wanted to be an artist and I didn't step into it. 
Who am I now? What am I doing now? What does that period represent in my life? Can I allow the grief and can I allow the release? But we don't put this on our partner, right? Now, if what's showing up for you is to step away, to move on, the key is don't react because that will just bring in the same again. You want to heal this agreement while you are where you are. And ideally, your partner is going to be thrilled that you did this shift because your partner is showing up with you, not by mistake, not by accident, to also heal, to also go through the transition, to also transform, right? You're that vehicle. You're that gift. So there's so many aspects to what a relationship can be about. Now that I've described all this, the map, the archaeological dig, the complexities that we share between us, isn't it amazing how we we can continue with someone? And look where we shut down sometimes, just going, you know what? I don't want to feel it. I don't want to know it. I don't want to go there, right? And that's not our best selves. So if you're in the cave right now and you need to come out, come out into the light after you've rested a bit. Just remember that bring in your masters, the archangels, the healing teams, allow them to participate with you so that you can feel the support for all that you are. And many of us think we have to do this road alone. We think that there's zero support out there. If you've never done this, you know, I talk to so many people that do their Doreen virtue cards and and love to talk about the archangels. They do not bring them to work. They do not bring them into their cubit work. They do not bring them into a difficult conversation with their boss or with their partner or with children or anywhere they go. Bring them in. They will work upon request. Isn't that great? So when we come back, we're going to talk some more about that and about some tools And also, if you're needing to do a session of this kind that's very personal to you, um, I'm going to describe some opportunities for you then. This is Leslie Fontaine. You're listening to Sheer Alchemy. (laughs) After all you put me through, you think I despise you. But in the end, I want to thank you because you made me that much stronger. Can you keep your lifestyle in retirement? It's a question people often wonder about. Ask Ameriprise Financial Advisor Jeff Packman about the new Confident Retirement Approach. You and Jeff can break down retirement planning step-by-step to get the real answers you need. Call Jeff Packman Financial Advisor today at 425-453-0272. Office is located at 601 108th Avenue Northeast, Suite 1800, Bellevue, Washington, 98004. The Confident Retirement Approach is not a guarantee of future financial results. Investment and advisory products and services are made available through Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, a registered investment advisor. Ameriprise Financial Services Incorporated, member FINRA and SIPC. Hi, this is Leslie Fontaine. Many of us have patterns that have been long held in our field. We attract the same energies, take the same jobs, go to the same toolkits of experience and survival. That is a lot of what patterns are about. Security, safety, and survival. Even if they don't work, at least we understand them. But destiny, even the word sounds boundless. It comes from your soul essence, a completely different place. When we listen to the guidance coming to us, that is where it is taking us. Let's go. Are you ready to shift into your best life? Visit LeslieFontaine.com and let's talk about unfolding all that you want to be, do, and have. You'll find sessions, audio products, classes to help remove the blocks and move you into your potential. And listen to my show, Sheer Alchemy, on Transformation Talk Radio, Wednesdays at 10 Pacific and 1 Eastern. Hi, I'm Tim Darter. And I'm Steve Kramer. Join us on Spirit Fire Radio. Discover how to add the mechanics of meditation to your day. And watch yourself connect in a whole new way. Find the amazing moments in life's routines that often pass us by. Add to your awareness with Spirit Fire Radio. Tune in each Wednesday at 9 a.m. for your weekly guide to practical mindfulness. And to learn more, visit www.spiritfireradio.com. Hey 
everyone. This is Dr. Pat. I wanted to tell you about a new, powerful, and compelling play by Nicholas Vasily. Coming to Seattle July 8th at the Palladium at Hales Brewery, the United States of China. On one hand, a dedicated American patriot who would give her life for her country. On the other hand, someone who has been battling the injustice and corruption of America most of her life. And she is as confused as any American could be about what she truly believes in. My play, The United States of China, is about the trial of Miriam Hopkins, who is a metaphor for all that America stands for. This is more than a play experience. It's a movement. It's a movement to create a new level of awareness. Knowledge is power, and we are powerful. Get your tickets today at americathestrong.com. And we're back. Thank you all for listening today. And there's many of you that are really bringing some beautiful energy to this um, topic today. It's a very personal one, isn't it? This is Leslie Fontaine. We're talking about relationships, the how, the why, and the what now. And I love that because, you know, sometimes we're in shock about what our choices have been, aren't we? It's amazing. If we look at our life and the trajectory that we've been on over a lifetime, I sometimes want to challenge people to really look at their progressions and say, wow, I really did evolve. I really did shift. I really did come through things. You know, here's where I was feeling these emotions. Here's where I was having these thoughts. Here's where I was having these physical lifetime experiences of, you know, being in this location or moving myself one way or another that I just couldn't even help. It was a part of my journey. So honor your journey today. This may be an awesome journaling opportunity for some of you to take a look at this and see how you truly have progressed looking at the mirrors of what you've drawn into your lives and I want to talk a little bit about you know sessions with some of you Um, when I work with you it's about 75 to 90 minutes and we go deep into what's showing up for you now what you're wanting to shift what you're wanting to clear And, you know, we bring in the masters, the archangels, very powerful, powerful energies, a very intense light vibration that allows us to shift and clear what you're ready to do. I talk often about not ripping the blanket off of a trauma victim. We don't clear everything at once. I get this question often. Well, did we get it all? No, we didn't. And for good reason. Because if we were to do that, you would have just no way at all to to fully, you know, function. We it's layers and layers and lifetimes of stuff, and this is intense vibrational shifting. So you know, we shift what you have presented that you are ready to do. All right. So if you're interested in a session with me, it's it's powerful. It does change your life. You do make new choices, new decisions, and do not assume that everyone will abandon you because you step into your authenticity. This is your gift. This is who you are in this beautiful, beautiful light time right now. I wanted to tell some of you where I'm going to be. Uh, July 23rd, I'll be in Seattle at the Metaphysical Expo in Kent. August 13th and 14th, I'll be at Ocean Shores at another uh, Metaphysical Expo, Expo. And September 11th and 12th, I'll be in Durango, Colorado for the wonderful whole expo. So if you're there and you want to work with me, I hope you will show up. And of course, you can always reach out to me at lesliefontaine.com. So I look forward to hearing from you. Uh, We've gotten a question um, that I'm going to address briefly um, in line with this, which is about, you know, holding space within a situation where um, we're in relationship. And again, the relationship can be work, it can be personal, it can be with our children. First of all, we want to come from a place of not taking care of others. All right. That is not what this is about. We are not being codependent, enabling, nor are we trying to change someone else. So you have to look within yourself, first of all, and go, what am I trying to achieve here? Am I trying to make them like me like I am? Am I trying to uh, make the situation better so I don't have to struggle or strive? So here's how this works. We could be in a very difficult conversation with our loved one. 
All right. We want to bring in Ascended Masters and Archangels. I work with so many, and I really uh, suggest that you go out to some websites called Ascended Masters and Archangels and take a look at the ones that resonate with you. Because each one of us has ones that click with us, right? Some are are love and harmony and conflict and some are um, scientific and have amazing uh, wisdom and knowledge. And uh, we bring in these beautiful light beings, ones that can do warfare for us, ones that can help us with clearing out some of the negative entity like implant tracking device kind of energies. And if you need help with that, that's the kind of work I do as well. So you want to examine your motives. What are you trying to do? Remember, this is the job from inside out. Whatever you are attracting in the situation, if someone is being verbally abusive to you, physically abusive, shutting down, closing down, take a look within. Where are you closing down, shutting down, and being abusive toward yourself? Very important to take a look at that first because from the inside out is what is attracted to us so then within when we notice we've shut down our inner child told her to be quiet told her not to speak her truth or if we've looked at some agreements with our parents and we are holding on to unforgiveness and we are shut down and we um, don't want to um, ever 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 allow something again but we haven't shifted the energy so of course we allow it again then this is the time for you to take a look so As you release these energies within yourself and you now have this loved one in front of you, you can bring in the Ascended Masters and the Archangels of your choice. You can bring in Master Jesus, Kuan Yin, uh, Guru Rinpoche. Uh, You can bring in Sanat Kumara, Serapis Bey, Katumi, Jwalkul, so many beautiful Lady Nada, Lady Vesta, many, many amazing Archangels, Saint Germain. All right, bring them in. And allow them to participate with you. Allow them to hold energy with you. Allow yourself to really get grounded in present time as this difficult conversation is occurring. And notice what's coming up in your own field. Notice whether you're feeling tight, anxious, afraid, or angry. Allow all of this, all right? Allow them to be fully present. You are going to be amazed. As this loved one is sharing with you, it could be something unpleasant or difficult, could be an argument, that the energy begins to shift. You are going to call in the highest levels of wisdom for speaking and what you desire and noticing that you fully appreciate the truth of the other person and you allow it and now you allow your own truth. And as they react to your truth and as they maybe get combative or they shut down or they walk away and you're being very calm, You notice then what you want to do, like, do I want to release that energy, that cord? Do I want to release that part of me that's feeling in my solar plexus? Because some of you are really responding to this now, that part of me that, that is afraid of this energy. Do I want to choose again? This is where you bring them in and hold space, all right? So I want you to focus less on outcomes about changing the other person, because often when I get this question, it's about how can I change the other person? How can I get them to want what I want, be what I want them to be, feel what I feel, enjoy what I enjoy? See, a lot of that is about making them something so that you'll feel better. And that's the message for us is what is it that it's about for me? I hope that makes sense for some of you. And if you want to work further on it, we can definitely do some work on that. I really am excited about this topic. This is really very profound. Please do not disrespect yourself or shame yourself or victimize yourself or look down on yourself or what you have or haven't done, how you've brought in the same patterns over and over again. The difference is that today, right now, What's showing up for you today? This is what you're ready to release. And we thank our mirrors. We appreciate those that have been in agreement with us. And now we shift ourselves and we notice our fear, but we bring in the beloved, we bring in the loved ones, and we allow ourselves to transform. And as we transform, we give the other person an opportunity to shift too. And remember, they chose to come into agreement with you too. They did. That's what's so great. I look forward to talking with you all again another time. We're going to go deep into some other very personal topics uh, over the summer. So I look forward to another time where we join our energies, we speak our truth, we bring in the loved ones, the light beings, and we spread our light. This is Leslie Fontaine, and it's Sheer Alchemy. 
You've been listening to the hit show, Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine on TransformationTalkRadio.com. Tune in each month to Sheer Alchemy with Leslie Fontaine to stir up your passions, remove your blocks, and shift into an entirely new existence. Gifted, shifted, and powerful is what this show is about. Visit TransformationTalkRadio.com and LeslieFontaine.com for showtimes and dates. Contact Leslie at LeslieFontaine.com to schedule a transformative session that removes your blocks so that you can say yes to explosive abundance. You will not be the same. The preceding audio was via a Skype call.